Hi folks, I'm Dave. I'm a videographer and a photographer here in Brisbane, Australia. I quite often get emails from people uh, inquiring about my real estate videos, how I go about making them, what cameras do I use, what settings do I use, and ultimately how do I, how do, I do the edit, how do I put it all together. So I thought I would uh, shoot this little quick little video for you just to give you an overview of uh, the, the process that I follow when I shoot my real estate videos. Okay, first things first, the camera. I use the Panasonic GH4. It's a wonderful little camera. It fits snugly into my Ronin M, which is the stabilization system that I use for 100% of my shots now on the ground uh, when I'm shooting real estate videos. On the GH4, I have a 7 to 14 millimeter lens, typically shooting at 7 mil most of the time. Uh, settings, ISO 800 is ideal. Uh, F4 to F9, and I'm running it at 1 50th shutter uh, because I'm shooting in PAL. Uh, a couple of quick tips, set your white balance uh, manually, don't rely on auto white balance. You'll find especially in, in bathrooms and, and anywhere where there's a lot of white uh, or off-white, your camera will struggle uh, with, with the various light sources coming in at it and it might change its white balance during a shot which is uh, very troublesome and doesn't look good. So set your white balance, take a white card, and sometimes, you know, I set a white balance in every room that I walk into just to make sure that I get a natural colour. Sometimes I'll shoot a room from all four corners just to, just to sort of try and see <clears throat> which one, which perspective gives the best uh, presentation of that area. Uh, and it's not until I get it into post that I can determine that. So, you know, take your time with each room and, and try and get the best perspective, obviously, for each room. Think about your edit when, you, when you're shooting. Shoot for your edit. You know, so I, I typically sort of start at the front of a house and then we'll walk, we'll walk in and then we'll see all the rooms that are in, in that vicinity and then we might go downstairs and head off through the balcony out to the pool or something at the end and then finish with another big grand shot at the end. Think about how the flow of the video is going to, to go and, and shoot accordingly. Now, when you've done all that and you bring it all back to your computer, you've got lots of different files and you have to make sense of it all. In this case, I've got some, uh, some, some internals and externals ground shots and I've also got some drone footage. So let's have a look now at how I sort of make sense of it all and, and hopefully put together something that's, that's, that's fun to watch. Okay, so here we are at the start of the uh, process of sort of filtering through what footage we've got and how we can use it. So what I typically would do, I guess, is go to my bin here, which is where I have all of my ground footage, double click the very first file and now remembering what I said about shooting for the edit. So I typically start with an establishing shot at the front. So let's just have a look at what we've got here. And that's a nice uh, shot there, sort of revealing the front and I like that. So I'll just grab that. I hit my mark in point, uh, looking at it through the source uh, monitor here and I'll just let it play until I get to a point where I think I might want to drop it out, which would be about there and you'll see, uh, and then I'll just drop it onto the timeline um, down into here. That's a nice sort of reveal shot walking into the room there. So I might just grab him and put him down into this group. I group things, I group sections of, of, of video with gaps so I can sort of go, okay, all this, these ones here might just be that living area. You know, I might have another group over here which is just the kitchen and so on. This is the first stage of editing. Uh, and grouping. I know that's a good shot. I saw that one before. That's a bit of a rise from behind the couch uh, to reveal that room. The next shot is, uh, remember what I was saying about going to all four corners? First shot was there, the second shot was here. Now the third shot is over by the dining room. And now this shot pans across and we, re we reveal the kitchen. So that could be uh, something that's worth working into the edit as well. So I'll pull him down into there. So what I'm doing here is just sort of scrubbing through the footage to see what shots worked and what shots didn't. And once again, what I'm trying to do here is, is visually join uh, all the scenes together so that it makes sense to the viewer as to uh, where we are. Uh, I think a lot about orientation. I don't want to shoot uh, or pre present a scene of one room and then all of a sudden cut to another room on the other side of the house. I'm always thinking about continuity and the flow of the shot. How, how is the shot going to look uh, and how is it going to tell the story overall. I don't want, I don't want to disorientate viewers. I want them to know uh, where they are at all times. Because it's video, anything that can be turned on, turn it on. Lights, candles, televisions, anything that can move, uh, turn it on as well. So um, fans, ceiling fans, water features, whatnot. 
Okay, with the drone footage, this is a great shot from uh, the front of house that reveals up, uh, that goes up and, and shows the, uh, and reveals the view that's in the background there. A lovely shot there to sort of give viewers an idea of the types of views that you'll enjoy. So I'm gonna put the drone stuff at the very end of this sequence, because normally I bring in the drone stuff um, once I've got the first basic edit put together. Okay, so here's the finished product now. I've put all of the scenes together. I have uh, added some music now, so we've got a bit of uh, energy and a little bit of emotion in there as well. It's very important to, well, what I like to do is make sure my edits uh, fit in time with the music. I think music plays a very important role in this sort of production, and indeed all my edits and cuts uh, are, are rhythmical, so to speak, to fit with the music. Uh, I like to use the, the the ups and the downs within the music to correspond with the shots that I've got. So it's it's a bit of a jigsaw uh, when you're at this point, it's, it's just putting the pieces in the right place uh, and your timing. So I'm really happy with the way this is looking. Uh, I've colour corrected all my footage, I've stabilised some footage that needed a bit of stabilisation but other than that it's flowing nicely and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to export this out now, brand it up for my client and uh, another job done. So there you go. That's how I shoot my real estate videos. I hope you got something out of that. It's a lot of fun to do and indeed it's a, it's a privilege to be able to do these uh, sorts of videos for people to help them sell and, uh, and move on in their lives. So um, if you did enjoy that, please like and subscribe. I've got a whole bunch of social media links down below if you care to follow. Uh, share the video if you're keen. Um, but look, ultimately, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you next time.